We have the ribs cut up. I'm going to be wrapping those. These we put in a crock pot, pour a little barbecue sauce over them. They'll make some good eating for a couple of days. So I'm going to be wrapping. All right, we're cutting up a flank steak here. We're going to be putting it on a cookie sheet. We're going to be chilling it and putting it in the freezer for making ground venison out of. We're going to be waiting until we can come up with some uh, fat. And I'll tell you something about this. You want to trim all the fat off of, wild fat off that you can get because it's it'll leave kind of a, a bad taste on your meat if you don't. We try to get all that off of it that we can. It's one of the things I've learned over the years of fooling with wild meat trying to clean it up is good. It may take a little time, but it's well worth it. We have our first tray of uh, trimmings that we're going to be putting in the freezer. We're going to kind of semi-freeze these before putting them in a Ziploc bag. This is something we'll be using to make sausage and ground deer. Okay, this is the neck bone. Danny's got a lot of the meat off, but you can see there's still some little giblets on it. So I'm going to boil this, and when we get through, we're going to have two or three other bones. I'm going to boil them and make uh, deer broth, and then we're going to can some. All right, here we have the two tenderloins off of this young deer. Oh, you talk about some good eating right there. Wanda's going to be wrapping that up. We're going to wrap both of them together. We'll probably take them butcher's twine and tie them together when we get ready to cook them and make like a miniature little roast out of them. We're going to wrap them with a lot of layers of paper so that they stay in the freezer well. Might I add, this tape dispenser was a gift from one of the subs. Let me tell you, it's highly appreciated. Comes in very handy. Yes. Go ahead and label it. It's a tenderloin and a date. There we have it. Fresh meat at Deep South Homestead. Okay, we're going to cut up our back strap here. And you notice this right here. Now, this is what's called a silver skin. Let me kind of, if I can flip this over, I'll show y'all. You see that right there on the back? That's called a silver skin. That stuff is extremely tough. And doing a back strap is a lot like filleting a fish. Now, because this is a young deer, I'm just cutting it straight across. Had this been an older deer and had a real big back strap, say three feet long, I would have cut it a lot longer slants like that because it would have made it a lot tenderer because this one is so young, uh, a one year old, I'm able to cut down and we roll off these perfect little stakes there. About a half an inch thick because what I do when I cook them is I pound them out to about, gosh they're not even an eighth of an inch thick, I pound them out, they'll be, they'll be this big around when I get through pounding them out to eat. They just, that to me, this is the best part of the whole deer right here. This and the tenderloins. Perfect little, perfect little steaks. And by doing it like this, that, uh, that silver skin stays right here on the cutting board. I don't have to worry with it. I can just throw it away when I get to the end. You can see they're beautiful. And I'm, I'm always going ahead of what I'm doing, trimming up. I like for everything to look nice and be nice. I'm not a professional butcher by no means, but I've learned over the years of doing this that this is what works for me. And you may have something on your homestead that works better for you, so if you do, then you use what you do. Ok, 
Okay, we're working on the front shoulder now. I'm just taking it apart muscle by muscle, cutting off each, each individual part, cutting it up because we'll be grinding this up for sausage or ground meat, whichever one um, we decide to use it for. Cutting it up into chunks. Now there's a I've already cut the shank off right here, and we're gonna be we're gonna be keeping these bones because, like one just said, we're gonna boil them down and make broth out of them because there's always gonna be a little bit of meat left on them. But this, you know, this comes up and it'll turn and come through here, and then when it gets up to here, it's gonna widen out and make a blade up here on, on this upper end here. So usually, what I'll do is just take the knife and I'll run down to the bone. And once I hit the bone. I just start rolling my knife around the bone. We could make a roast out of this. You know, if you wanted to, you would cut it, you would cut it across right here and right here to make a small roast. If you was a single person by yourself, that would be fine. But for, you know, for one to nine, it's not enough for two people, but for a single person, it would be fine. And on a lot larger animal, you know, it would be a different story there. But now I'm not worrying about getting every little bit of giblet of meat off of these bones because we are, like I said, we're going to be boiling it for, for broth. I'm basically just cutting the outside edges off of it because we're going to use that for grinding. Things like down in here, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to get real particular with it. Okay, here we have the hind quarter of the deer. I've kind of squared the end of it up here and cut the bone off. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting a roast here on this particular hind quarter. You know, we've seen over here, we got the tray of the uh, grinding meat that I've cut off of the end here. Now what I'm going to be doing is taking a knife and I'm going to be cutting this roast across here, across like that, to make a roast with a feed. It'll feed me a wonder for about a week or if, if we have you know, we have some friends over or something, it'll feed a whole bunch of people at one time. But we're going to go ahead and be cutting this roast off next of this hind quarter, and then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, as you can see here now, we have the roast cut off of the hind quarter. The rest of this will be going for cutting up into grinding meat. But you look at the beauty of this roast.